What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, today's vi video is a little bit different from the farm video, um, but today I'm down here at the creek. Um, I got challenged by Bumblebee Junction, Mark and Tina over there. Mark challenged me to a bean competition. How? What's my favorite bean recipe? Well, I'm going to show you guys what I, I like to call a survival bean recipe. I brought my old 10-inch uh, uh, cast iron lodge uh, Dutch oven. I'm going to cook some beans down here at the creek. And uh, hopefully I'm going to try to catch a little fish and maybe cook, cook clean fish. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But for sure, I'm going to accept the challenge from Bumblebee Junction. And I'm going to make some beans for you guys. I got my pack uh, full of supplies to make these survival beans. And at the end of the video, I'm going to challenge a couple different channels to make their own survival bean recipe. Now, uh, Mark's uh, was just a bean, bean challenge. I'm going to up it to a survival bean challenge. If you guys like the video, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some wood. And I'm going to try to redeem myself uh, from me, when me and Brandy made a, a video on, uh, on the survival axe. I brought my axe with me. And I'm going to try to redeem myself and make us a fire with the flint. If not, I got a backup plan. So let's get some firewood. Let's get this uh, fire going. Let's get this, these beans cooking. All right, I'm gonna redeem myself a little bit of TP. Let's see if I can't use that fire. Uh, uh, let's see if we can't use that fire stick to get this started. Usually I'd let that get a good set of coals going before I put the um, cast iron Dutch oven on it. But we're running out of daylight, so I need to get this heated up so I can start cooking some bacon. I'll show you guys uh, the recipe I'm going to use, a real simple recipe. Um, I'm sure other people use the same thing, but it's a good little survival food. Uh, if you're out here camping alone, out here on the creek by yourself, or you got family members with you and you want to throw together a little meal without cooking a whole bunch of different things um, separately, you can cook it all in one little cast iron pot right here. You can see, where's that? There it is, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that get heated up. I gotta go collect some more firewood, and uh, hopefully when we come back, I'll be showing you guys throwing some meat on there.
and I moved, I stoked it a little bit to get that flame really going. So here in about probably five or 10 more minutes, I'm gonna stick the cast iron on there. It's already pretty hot and I'm gonna put the bacon on there. And I'll start cooking the meat and show you guys the bean recipe. Okay, what I brought with me today, besides the can of beans, I brought some bacon, I'm gonna cook it first, and with some Polish sausage, and some uh, bell peppers and some onions. I'm gonna go ahead with how I do it. I'll throw the bacon on there first, and then I'll combine the bell peppers and onions about halfway through this cook. That way the grease cooks itself, and I can, if I need to drain it, I'll drain it at the end. Then I'll put my beans in, and I'll show you the rest of the recipe that I put in there. Pretty simple. This stuff I carried in a day pack with some ice packs in there, kept it nice and cold, good to go. If it gets too hot on the fire like that, take it off. You ain't gonna hurt nothing by taking it off there for a little bit. Just got a regular can of pork and beans. Let's we'll see if we can open it up with this old knife and patch it. I just use my favorite barbecue sauce. I'll put some in there. A lot of people use use ketchup, brown sugar. Just stir that up. Now these beans are coming along pretty nicely. Thank goodness it's a cool day. It's like 68 degrees, 70 degrees in the middle of September in Oklahoma. That is awesome. I don't know if you guys noticed my new shirt or not. Dutch is money, honey. That's what it is. I got the money, honey, right here. I use a lot of, uh, people use the term money, honey on barbecue for honey. I'm gonna put a little bit of honey inside these beans instead of brown sugar. I didn't bring brown sugar with me, but I did bring a natural sugar in the Dutch's money, honey. So guys, I'm gonna pour some of this in there, stir it up, let it cook for a little bit, then I'll show you guys the finished product. Pretty simple, uh, simple to do, fun to do out here on the creek by myself. I'll let, I'll let these beans cook for a little bit and I'll show you guys the end product. I'm gonna try to catch me a little perch or something. We'll see how that works out.
Uh, don't forget to bring water out here whenever you guys are doing stuff like this out on the trail or out on the creek. I do have a survival straw that you could use to get out of the creek water if you want to. But I, I bought this at Atwoods. It was like 10 bucks, uh, 10, 12 bucks. And I got two of them, one, one for me and my daughter. And this, I don't have ice in this. I just put straight water in it today because I didn't want to uh, mess with the ice. If I could find a link to this or close to this, I'll put it down uh, in the description below to Amazon, my Amazon account. This is awesome. I've had one for over a year and the other one for like six months. I got, like I said, I got a second one. They work awesome. Hayden takes her to jiu-jitsu, so do I. I take it to work everywhere I go. This is an awesome little product. I'm not too sure if you couldn't heat this up. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to do it today. But uh, we'll see how these beans are here in a minute. But first, I'm going to see if I can get me a little, little fish or something. Well, it's starting to mist on me. My battery's getting really close to dying. These beans are done. Let's pull them off. I got them pulled off, cooled down a little bit. I'm gonna show them to you guys and we'll try them out. You check them beans out. Let's get a piece of bacon and a piece of that sausage right there. Hot. <laughs> this is a dinner. Hot, hot. Good. I want to truck this back to the truck. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Uh, that's the, the bean challenge. Now, uh, Bumblebee Junction tagged several people. I don't even remember who all he uh, he uh, tagged. I know he, uh, Dan from Home in the Sticks, he actually did, Dan did a recipe like this I seen today as I'm getting this ready. I'm like, oh, great, we did the same one. That's all right. Uh, I put some of Dutch's Money Honey, Dutch's Money Honey in there. I know Dan ain't got that, so. <laughs> but this, the honey gives it that sweet barbecue flavor with the barbecue sauce I put in there. Um, you guys, I just use, like you've seen, bacon, uh, sausage, beans, uh, my favorite barbecue sauce. And you can use ketchup, brown sugar, anything you want. This is just the easy way I do it, especially for camping. We, we use this recipe a lot when we're camping. That's why I came out here to the creek. I like this setting. I like, I finally redeemed myself. I got a fire going. Uh, so it was a good day, a nice, cool, cool uh, summer day uh, for a change. So I was glad to get out here. Thanks, Mark from Bumbley Junction for challenging me in this. So I'm going to challenge two channels today. I haven't told them I was going to challenge them yet, so I don't know if they'll accept the challenge or not. Uh, Mark didn't tell me he was challenging me, so I accepted it anyways. Being the Marine, you can't, can't turn down a good challenge, especially since I'm turning this into a survival bean challenge. Not magical beans like, uh, like Bumblebee Junction. I'm changing it up to survival beans. That just sounds more manly. Yeah, Mark, I said. It don't have to be beans, guys. It could be anything. I want to see your best survival uh, outdoor cooking. That's what we're going to change it to. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge two channels. Uh, one smaller channel that's trying to grow his and one bigger channel that's about the size of mine. Uh, so we'll challenge them two. Taylor from Pure Living for Outdoors. Let's see your best survival food out on the outdoor cooking anywhere you want. Don't, have, don't matter where it's at. And also going to challenge Danny from Deep South Homestead. Now, Danny, I know you could cook. You want to cook out there. And I know you don't turn down a challenge. You got that smoke house. You got all that stuff going on out there. So I know you have a good survival uh, dinner you want to share with us. Don't have to be beans. Anything you want. So Taylor and Danny, I'm challenging you guys. Hope you guys accept it. Guys, if you like this video, if you like you want to see some more outdoor stuff like this, Leave me a comment down below. So yeah, we like seeing you guys, or like seeing you out in the outdoors uh, doing cooking or whatever you want to do, just messing around. I'm by no means an expert in survival, anything like that. Now I am kind of an expert at cooking, uh, cooking beans. <laughs> no, I don't claim to be expert at anything. I know a little bit, a lot of, about a little bit of things. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, please subscribe, smash that like button, and uh, don't forget to click the little bell for notifications. I'll catch you guys on the next video. I really do appreciate all you guys watching. All the support you show me and my family, we all appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. And one thing, don't ever forget, put your fire out. I wanted to add that in because if I didn't, there's going to be a lot of you guys down there. Did you put that fire out? The fire's getting ready to go out. 
I'm picking up all my trash, taking everything with me. I'm going to leave this place cleaner than it was when I came. That's my motto. <laughs> Make it cleaner than it was. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.